everybody welcome back to my channel so for today's video i'm doing a what i got for christmas so as you guys know christmas has just been and i love these videos i love watching them i love making them they're just my favorite but obviously disclaimer i'm not bragging i am entirely grateful for absolutely everything that i was given for christmas i am extremely lucky and i just love every single one of my gifts and am eternally grateful for them so please don't look at this like i'm bragging i just love watching these videos and i know other people do too so i thought i would do it myself i am gonna start with what john got me first because john is like here so i think if i start with what he got me first and then i can like go through everything i have my table with all my gifts on but obviously um i want to do this video before i start using stuff and i want to start using stuff so i'm gonna just crack on so starting off uh john got me a little stocking and we've never done stockings before which was really cute like i found it bad because i didn't do it in one but um he did me a little stocking which was really cute and he basically gave me everything that i use like on the daily basis so two packets of chewing gum because i live off chewing gum my favorite deodorant which is the nivea antiperspirant black and white invisible this stuff is so good he also put some little kit kat santas in there because they are to die for they've literally been my favorite like chocolate over christmas a toothpaste <laughs> some nivea cleansing wipes these are my favorite face wipes jelly tots because they're my favorite sweets some fluffy socks because i always have cold feet then also uh he got me some new vans and my vans i've got the checkerboard slip-ons at the minute and i absolutely love them but they are looking a bit worse for wear so john got me the old school style vans with the biggish platform absolutely love these these are unreal and i've laced them already because i'm excited to get them on my feet he also got me a dressing gown that I have been crushing on for so long. It's the Chelsea Pierce dressing gown. It is this one and it's covered in like um, leopards and it is just so beautiful. It's got like the white fluff on the front. It's a short dressing gown as well. So I love this. I love it. I'm going quite quickly, by the way, because I don't want you to be sat here for hours and hours on end. Um, then he got me from Dead Sweet. Like I watched Dead Sweet TikTok religiously i love them very invested in grace and kelly but this is their dead sour mix i'm so excited to eat this you don't know how long i've been looking at this today is the 27th so i've been looking at this since we do me and john do presents on christmas eve and i've just wanted to eat these so bad and i was waiting to do this video but now i can and honestly sour sweets are my favorite Sorry if the angle has changed slightly. I just had to delete some space on my card. Then he got me um, a little Lush set and it's the Night Before Christmas set. And in it is the Twilight Bath Bomb and the Sleepy Bear Bath Bomb. Mmm, I love Lush. Lush, if you, like, I always say to everyone like in my family when they're like, what do you want for Christmas? And I just say, you know, you can't go wrong with Lush stuff. So anything from Lush, please. <laughs> I'm going to show you jewellery. So John also got me this beautiful skull necklace and i have been crushing on these for so long so for myself for christmas i bought myself this this is the stacks exo floyd anatomical heart necklace i've been after one for fucking years and then when i saw that so had released one i was like buying it so i bought that for myself and i was also after and have been after for years a little skull necklace like with a tiny gold skull on it and john got me one and i am eternally grateful because it is beautiful absolutely beautiful though gold little skull and i just fell in love when i saw him so he got me two books which i asked for i've got quite an odd taste in books so people always ask me what books i want to read because i've got a bit of a distinctive taste uh some know me well enough some do not but john just said i'd rather get you books that you want so what books john <laughs> and i asked for the magpie society two for joy by zoe sug and amy mccullough this is the second one their first one was one for sorrow and i actually loved that book so i was like get me get me the second one please and he was like fucking romeo done mate so i now have the second one to read i have so many books by the way like so many books so 
if you like books, you'll like this. The book John got me is The Everyday Mindfulness for OCD, Tips, Tricks and Skills for Living Joyfully. And this is something that I'm really interested in reading because obviously I do have OCD and I need some help with it to rationalise it in my head. So OCD book and I have also set myself a good reads challenge this year, always do, but also I've set myself a challenge to read three self-help books this year. I hate self-help books but I know I need them so I've set myself the task to read them and this is going to be the first one. <laughs> I forgot to say hair ties in my stockings because I go through them like no tomorrow and John knows I really like the thick bands and also a hand sanitizer goes quite hand in hand with the OCD doesn't it? I have germ OCD. <laughs> and then also John got me a tangle teaser. My hair brushes just don't really last because my hair is thick and it falls out a lot and I've heard really good things about tangle teasers and you can use these when your hair is wet because you shouldn't brush your hair when it's wet apparently. So John also got me the pink tangle teaser so thanks John. Right moving on to makeup -y bits. Um John spoiled me rotten with makeup, I'm not going to lie. So he bought me the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. This one is in the shade Ice. And it's just this really beautiful pinky nude colour. And I've been after a gloss like this for so, so long. And I asked for this one. Beautiful. And then also he bought me a Doll Beauty lipstick in the shade FOMO. This is a gorgeous shade. This is a... Um, a very very nude nude but it's almost got like a pinky kind of tone to it as well it's beautiful gorgeous so he got me a doll beauty lipstick sticking with the doll beauty theme he also bought me two sets of lashes from doll beauty i got jasmine and i also got taylor next few beauty bits i said in my previous video i don't know if you've seen it or if it's gone up yet but i was using for cream contour the mineral stick from NYX and it's discontinued can't get it anywhere anymore and I'm nearly at the bottom so I asked John for the Huda Beauty Tantor and I got this in the shade light and it's a cream and contour bronzer I can't wait to try this out basically I was gonna do with all of the new makeup that I've got because I did get a fair bit of makeup for Christmas I thought I would do a trying a full face of new makeup so if that is something you want to see let me know down below and also i was very very lucky to get this like i didn't think i was going to get this this is the aviv modern bronzer so it's jamie genevieve's brand and i'm sorry but this is the most bougiest bronzer ever it's like metal Pla wow is it metal yeah it's got to be metal it's cold it's metal with like a crock print on the top and it just feels like so fucking luxurious i just i can't quite get my head around it uh so he bought me the vive bronzer and he also got me the nars soft matte complete concealer this i've wanted to try for fucking donkey's years and i've seen so many people talk about it so floyd uses it religiously michaela i can't say her last name from tiktok uses it religiously so i was like i will try this i want to try this so i asked john for it for christmas and he did get it me so i'm very grateful and also the nars radiance primer i wanted to try this as well you all know i love a glowy base so he got me one of these and all so thank you very much john and then last two things from John. I know this is excessive. Like me and John do go very ham at Christmas on each other. We just, we just don't know when to stop, to be honest. And I am eternally grateful for John and I want to spoil him rotten. Like a child, almost. Like a child. Um, and then the final beauty thing was this. It's from Peaches and Cream. But can we just look at how cute this is? It's got little elves on it and I just love this, like very gaudy, nine, it reminds me of like the 90s style packaging. It got me a brush set, I have taken them out of the packaging so I wanted to see what they were like, um, softness and all, but he got me the peaches and cream brush set as well, so I'm looking forward to putting them on my face. Them on my face. This one intrigues me, it's almost like a flat dome. The last thing from John is the Sleepy Lush gift set. This, I love, like Sleepy is possibly one of my favourite smells from Lush, like the lavender scent. And it's, uh, in here is the Twilight Body Sleep Spray, uh, 
Sleepy Bear Bath Bomb, Sleepy Shower Gel, Sleepy Bath Bomb, Sleepy Body Lotion, and Sleepy Bubble Bar. So John's just like, go sleep, love. Shut up, go sleep after this. <laughs> so this is from John. So that is absolutely everything from John. John, if you're watching, thank you, my darling. I love you to fucking pieces, and I'm so grateful for everything you've bought me. You've supported me rotten this year, and um, I love you. Oh, I also bought myself another Christmas present. I will show it you now, actually, just to get it out of the way. Um, but it is. I bought myself a new electric toothbrush. Because I need one. Quite badly. This is the Philips Sonicare one. This was on Amazon. It had, like, £100 off. I think I got it for, like, 40 quid. So I just was like, buy it by yourself. Do you know what I mean? So I got myself a Christmas present. I got myself an electric toothbrush. Moving on to my mum and dad. So from my mum and dad... Um, they got me my favourite setting spray. This is the Lottie London Dewy Setting Spray. I actually got this last year and I just literally ran out. So my mum and dad got me a refill. So thanks mum and dad. Also got a brand new freckle tin. Same again. I asked for this last year. They got me this last year and they've got me a refill because I've just ran out. Then um, a Morphe lipstick. Now this is very, very light. My mum was like, it says lipstick, but is it a concealer? <laughs> um, it is very light because I do conceal in the middle of my lips to make them look bigger. So I thought if I can get a lipstick basically in a concealer shade, which this pretty much is, it will look, it will be a bit better and stay on a bit longer, hopefully. And then some Morphe brushes. These are beautiful. They're white and pink. And I'll get them out. I also got these out there, little like sleeve things, because I wanted to see what they were like. But they're just stunning. I love Morphe brushes. You cannot go wrong with a set of Morphe brushes. Slide that back in there. But yeah, so that is from my mum and dad also. And then she got me this, which is something I actually wasn't expecting. It's really cute. It's, I opened this little box. And it's basically a little something to stand on your like table or whatever. And it's a daughter sign which is sweet. Daughter, you are love for the little girl you were, the special woman you are now, and the wonderful daughter you will always be. And I thought this was really sweet and like sentimental because... Thanks, mom. Thanks, dad. Thing is, is my dad's like typical dad on Christmas morning. It's like, watch the rubbish, put it in the bag, put it in the bag. And then you go, thanks, dad. And he's like, what did I buy you? Do you know what I mean? So <laughs> then I got a wing. So my mum and dad know I desperately want a sausage dog called Mr. Weenie. Um, if, I, if me and John do get a dog when we move out and it's a sausage dog, it will be called Mr. Weenie. Fight me. Um, but she's like, I know you can't have one while you live here because obviously we've got Ninny and this is my mum and dad's house. So she got me this one. <laughs> and it's like one that you take the beads out of its belly and you warm them up because it, it can go in the microwave like that. But we've got a very small microwave. It's not going to fit. So um, you can take the beads out on the inside and pop them in and then it warms up and then you get to cuddle it. I also asked my mum and dad for a new water bottle because I have... I saw some out on TikTok and I was like, it's so fucking true. Basically, an emotional attachment to water bottles. Like, you use the same one over and over and over. And I have been doing that. So I was like, I need a new one. I need a new one. So I said to my mum, could you please get me a new one for Christmas? And she got me this one. So it's One Green Bottle Evolution. And it's a lovely lovely bottle it reminds me of a milk bottle just like an ivory cream color it's stainless steel so it will keep whatever cold and whatever hot and i like that because i like to fill with ice i really like ice cold water so my mum and dad got me a new bottle so thanks mum and dad loves it they don't watch my videos um but thank you also opened this now this is something i'd asked for um it's from rock and rose and i love rock and rose's bits and pieces they do some lovely jewelry and like head scarves and things like that and it came in this really nice little bag pretty inside is a gold locket it's quite a big one it's almost like a statement one um which i thought would be really nice for layering and like do you know what I mean? Do you see what I mean? Kind of like layered. But it's got this, it's in gold and it's got this lovely kind of rose print on it. It's really pretty. And I thought it'd be really nice for kind of layering up with kind of like the smaller pieces and things like that. So yeah. Thanks mom and dad. So Christmas, my mum put on the label actually. Christmas isn't Christmas without one for this. 
because it's it's a tradition every year that my mum buy me a dressing gown for Christmas. So this is what I got. A white fluffy penguin one. Now I know white and me, fuck. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? I wear a lot of makeup, so hopefully this doesn't get covered. But now I have two, so I don't have to ruin either one. I can just flip between the two. I actually now have four in this bedroom. <laughs> but I love a dressing gown. Dressing gown's my favourite. And it's covered in little, little penguins. And I just love it. Like, look at all the fat, like me. It's got my belly. Ooh. And I just... I just love this. It's absolutely beautiful. It's so, so soft. I think she said she got it from Sainsbury's. And, and then, as we all know, I am a lover of boots. A chunky black boot is always the way to my heart. Bloody love it. So, my mum and dad got me these. Now, I wanted a boot that didn't really have a heel. Like, I've got quite a lot of heeled boots. Whereas these have got, like, a platform. But they are also flat at the same time. And they're from Nasty Gal. And they're just unreal they're basically like little riding boots they look like horse riding boots camel colored kind of sole and it's got a platform to it and it's just beautiful and i absolutely love them and yeah they were from nasty gal if anybody wants wants to get them but also i like the stitching detail can you see it's like cream love it and the last thing from my mum and dad is a jewelry box now I've been stuffing all of my jewellery into an old candle pot and I love it, it's a beautiful pot but it's literally like, it tangles everything. So my mum and dad got me this from Argos and it's a jewellery box that you open like this. I've already put my jewellery in it. But so it's like detachable so I've got all my jewellery in that bit. <clears throat> like separated bits i can't really show you because it'll all fall out but you can buy extra ones of these as well the more kind of jewelry you get or collect or whatever so i thought that was really nice and it's just the plain black kind of leathery it's not real leather it's fake leather leathery material which i thought would be lovely just sat on my side like it doesn't look too much of clutter or whatever so and then <clears throat> i will do i'll do my family and then i'll move on to john's family actually because Otherwise, we're going to be flitting between everyone and you're not going to know what I'm on about. So, from my grandparents, we get predominantly money. So, I got some money. So, and my grandparents don't watch my videos, but thanks, Grandma. Thanks, Grandpa. And they also got me a little jewellery box. Now, this is really cute. It's tiny. And this would be lovely for, like, travel or... Um, I was thinking, because sometimes when I go out, I take extra jewellery with me. Um, so like when I'm doing like a photo shoot day or whatever, I'll take extra. This will be really lovely to just pop into my suitcase so my jewellery doesn't get lost because I did just used to chuck my whole jewellery box in there. So it just looks like this. It's a uh, white croc print. It's absolutely stunning. I really love it with little gold. And then sticking with grandparents, my nan, she was like, what do you want? What do you want? You're so hard to buy for. I don't want to just give you money. I said, nan, please, can you just get me some rollers? <clears throat> so she got me some hair rollers because I have the small rollers, but I've wanted the big rollers for a really long time. So she said she got these from Superdrug. She got me three, three packs. So there's 15 in each, which is amazing. But I love the big... They're all like tucked in if that makes sense so I can like pull them out. But I love these big ones for a big bouncy fringe. So she got me three of those. Wow, my nan and step grand got me three of those. And also a big snow fairy from Lush. This smells so good. We all know snow fairy. We all know and love snow fairy. I'll do my brother and sister-in-law and nephews first. They bought me a Derma V10 foot peel, the exfoliating one. This is tea tree and peppermint. They know my feet are gross. I think they know. So I've got a lovely little foot peel for me manky feet. Thanks, guys. Then, Neil Jard. I love Neil Jard. If you've never heard of Neil Jard, it's like organic, just... Just, just 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 go find some Neil's Yard and smell it. It smells incredible. And this is the Women's Balance Bath Salts. Harmonises body and mind. Restores with minimal rich sea salt and balancing blend of rose, absolute geranium and frankincense essential oils. And it's just full of salts and it just smells so good. 
And then finally, Sam and Hannah got me a winter votive from the White Company. I've never had a White Company candle, and now I feel bougie, okay? I was saying to Hannah yesterday, I feel bougie now. Um, but it's just the winter one, and it just smells so good. Oh, I cannot wait to like this. It's uh, cinnamon, clove, and orange, and it just smells oh, so good. Like, I've never had a White Company candle, and now I'm going to be the bougie bitch that I am, and have a white company handle so thanks guys love you if you're watching i don't know if you are then from my sister her boyfriend and my nephew my other nephew i have three um i got some milk trays love me some chocolate and then she got me ooh, also from neil jard i love neil jard um the natural defense hand rub because Kills 99% of bacteria, and we all know the germ OCD. <laughs> but it is just, it smells a bit like lemony, a bit citrusy. Love it. So that's from Luce and Luke and Jasper. And also these, I got the Derma V10 Lavender Pillow Spray and Lavender Roll-On. They know I love lavender. They, my sister laughs at me because I love tea. Like herbal and fruit teas are my favourite. So she got me this. This is the ink from the English tea shop. And it's like little cones of tea. Like how cool. Loose leaf pyramid bags. And then between me and John, they bought us a big bag of sweets. Which they know we love sweets. And then two books also. And the books that they actually bought me were the Professor Keith Simpson, 40 Years of Murder. This was recommended to me by my friend Emma. Emma's channel will be linked down below because she, I'm trying to, she's, she's coming back to Instagram and YouTube, you know, she is. I'm going to make her because I love her content. It's incredible. And um, yeah, so she recommended me this. So this is uh, a forensic pathologist's cases that he's done and speaks about. And also, You Let Me In by Camilla Bruce. This was all over book talk for a long time so I really want to get to this and try this out and see what it's like. So my sister's boyfriend's mum bought us, well John and I these, these biscuits and they've got all, literally all of our favourite biscuits in. Custard cream, golden crunch cream, double chocolate crunch cream, raspberry jam sandwich, bourbon cream, Viennese chocolate sandwich, chocolate Viennese half coated digestive with chocolate, butter crinkle crunch. Oh I love, I love biscuits, I do, it's John's fault john's family so i'm gonna start with john's mum oh from john's mum she bought me a lovely little lush set and i just love lush we all know i love lush and she got me the snow fairy bath bomb and the snow fairy bubble bar smells so good and also she got me a box of orange matchmakers they are literally one of my favorite chocolates as well so thank you very much carol i think you might be watching <laughs> so grateful for these and i cannot wait to have a bath and eat the matchmakers in the bath. And then from John's brother, I got two books and he bought me um, one book that I asked for and then he took a gamble with a book and the gamble paid off massively. So like I said earlier, people know I have a weird sense um, in what I like to read. So he bought me the Grady Hendrix, The Final Girl Support Group. This I've seen all over meg with books youtube channel so i really wanted to read this and get to this and try this out basically it's like a um a girl support group and they keep dying i believe so i'm buzzing to read that and then he also bought me this now this was i didn't give him any hints on this or whatever but um it was actually on my tbr to be read and it was in my amazon wish list and i put it in in august and he didn't have any access to any of it. But he was like, oh, I just think Millie will like that. So he knows me. He knows me. And this is Murder Under the Microscope, A Person's History of Homicide by Jim Fraser. So Jim Fraser basically is um, worked pretty much like he's, he's probably was the forefront of forensic science for a long time and helped solve so many cases. But also in this book, he talks about majority of his unsolved cases and things like that. So this is gonna go down a bloody treat cannot wait to fucking read this so thank you jay if you're watching i think you might be and uh will has bought me two books the other book hasn't come yet but um he bought me this one this is the seven ages of death by dr richard shepherd aka my bestie aka he put one of my pictures on his instagram i'm just a celeb 
I'm joking. So obviously we all know who Eden Harves is and Eden got on like Will Smith's Instagram. Incredible. Me, I'm like, I'm on a forensic pathologist Instagram and I'm loving fucking life. Um, but this is his new book. So he actually wrote the Unnatural Causes book, which is one of my favourite books, literally five star read. But this is his new one It's and it's The Seven Ages of Death. So I'm really excited to get to this and read this. So it says a forensic pathologist journey through life he bought me that one and then i have another book coming and i will show you that on my instagram when it arrives um so make sure you're following me and then from lizzie who is pretty much john like he's, she's like john's sister he's she's known him since he was born she's a really good family friend basically um, she bought me two books also she bought me sadie by courtney summers this has been on my tbr for such a long time and i've seen so many people reading it lately and just being fucking amazed by it so i was like i will get that i will get that and then um lizzie asked me what for christmas so i was like can i have this please <laughs> so she really kindly bought me that and also the invisible life of Addie larue by ve schwab ve schwab's writing is one of my favorite writing styles and she just makes me fall in love with a story so 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 quickly um so easy to read just feels so comfortable in her writing if that's even a thing but uh, she also bought me this this has been all over booktube and booktok so i'm excited to get to this and then she also bought me uh two makeup products which is the refi gloss highlighter which i've been wanting to try for a really long time and the refi brow sculpt which i've seen everywhere so i really wanted to try this so thank you very much lizzie if you're watching then john's auntie bought me a dove set and this is a uh oat and honey body lotion a go fresh pomegranate deodorant and a pomegranate shower gel which i love and i think it's got a little loofah in there as well which love wear love wear love. and then finally ending with john's nan she bought us a huge duvet set she bought us the like it's like the fleece one i showed this to Liv last night like that and she was like is that a vagina i was like no it's bedding <laughs> but um yeah it's a huge fleece duvet cover in like a dusky pink and i think this is gonna look really nice for my green bed like pink and green go together so nicely so that is from beryl so thank you beza love you absolute babe and john's friend also he bought me some a calendar which hang on i've got everything i'll insert a clip of the calendar but and then he got me some of these little red tea lights as well which is cute he knows i like candles so that is absolutely everything i got for christmas and i am so bastard and grateful so that is everything i got for christmas and i am so so grateful to every single person that bought me a christmas present or wish me a merry christmas or even just gave me a card or a text i hope you all had a lovely christmas i know these circumstances around life at the minute might not allow i really hope you all had a cr okay christmas a good christmas i don't know what to say circumstances at the moment are so weird but um i hope you had the best day you could and uh i will see you again very very soon for another video bye guys <laughs>